Hello everyone! So today's video is going to be my two months on tea update, so I'm going to be letting you know all of the changes that I've noticed since my last update. Before I do that, I just want to say three things. So first is that I want to acknowledge that the lighting in here is really bad and I'm sorry about that. I'm filming in the morning currently and I usually film like in the late afternoon, so it's not great. I've done what I can to try and like help with it but it's not it's just not great right now also i just want to acknowledge how colorful i am because yes i'm wearing a pastel purple shirt because it's got brats on it let me show you real quick isn't that cute okay <laughs> brats shirt oh yeah the other thing is also that i just want to say that i am planning to continue making tea updates without makeup on because i want to be able to like accurately represent the timeline of how my skin is looking with like each month so things like spots and oily skin and facial hair and any of those changes I want to be able to like see them really clearly each month so I am doing naked face for all of these potentially. <laughs> That's all of the disclaimers so now I will be jumping into the update. The first thing I'm going to talk about is my voice so I have not noticed really any changes to do with my voice since last time we talked about it. I still have patches throughout the day where it's deeper than other times so usually it's like in the mornings that's when it's most commonly a bit deeper and sometimes the evenings but not always and then like throughout the middle of the day it's it just goes back to sounding how it used to which honestly sucks it's like really jarring when that happens and i hate it i especially noticed it in my last video that my voice sounded like a lot higher and it really bothered me oh but anyway and also my voice doesn't seem to be doing as much like weird stuff as it had when it first started having little changes like it's not really breaking anymore it's not doing any of that weird stuff that it was for like a couple weeks there so yeah, I don't know. Um, hopefully, hopefully it's still like moving in the right direction because I really am hoping that it speeds up and I am really looking forward to it being deeper. But we will see what happens. It just drives me nuts. <laughs> okay, next I'm going to talk about body hair and I have a lot of updates to do with body hair. We're going to be talking about that a lot for this update. So first I'm going to talk about the hair on my face and kind of like move down to the rest of my body. So first thing is that I'm pretty sure my moustache has gotten a little bit darker, just like a tad, especially like on the ends here. So I'm going to like get uncomfortably close to the camera and show you what I'm talking about. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> um, so if you can see, it's my little moustache and it's like these ends here that really seem like a bit darker to me. Is it focusing? I don't know. Are you back here? Is it working? It might just be focusing on my septum ring. Sorry about that. <laughs> um, I really have been especially noticing it when I look at photos of myself. So that's been cool. I'm like really looking forward to growing a moustache because I've always wanted a moustache and it's like the one thing from facial hair that I'm really wanting and looking forward to so yeah having a moustache will be pretty cool and i like just that it sort of puts that moustachey looking shadow on my face it pleases me greatly so that's a pretty good update i've also been seeing some more chin hairs coming up so last update i had like about three that came up under my chin and now i'm having some come up like on on my chin over my chin like just I don't think the camera would pick up on it but it's there and they're not like really thick and wiry they're like still soft and a bit like peach fuzz but they're darker so they're like kind of brownie black looking oh yeah also my my peach fuzz that is like on my face i think it's been getting a bit darker as well like especially around here it's just slightly darker i don't think that anyone but me really notices that because obviously you have to be like really close to my face to see it and I don't think the camera is picking up on it yet. I also think that I've been seeing like more peach fuzz on my neck. I really noticed it when I was doing my makeup that my neck looked really fluffy. It's like it's kind of weird but I don't mind it. <laughs> we'll, we'll see where that takes us. So now snail trail update. So I have been definitely noticing an increase 
in like hair around the snail trail area which is really great when I first started seeing signs of it last month it was like so subtle that I was thinking like am I actually seeing it or am I imagining it is this wishful thinking but no I was seeing it and it has increased and I'm very happy about that it's a bit weird like the hairs kind of around my belly button have gotten really long and there's like this one hair that has gotten so freaking long and it was like a pre-existing one that I already had but it is just like shot up out of nowhere I don't know it's just it's kind of funny yeah so I'll show you I think I'll show you my snail trail I feel a bit weird showing my tummy to the internet but there you go there it is <laughs> Besides my snail trail, there's also just like a lot more fluff like on all of my torso, like my tummy and my chest and it's kind of just everywhere, which has been really great. I first noticed it when I was getting changed and like the light kind of hit my torso in just the right way that like all of the hairs kind of lit up and I could see them all at once and it was really cool. So I'm, yeah, I'm thinking I'm going to be pretty hairy by the end of all of this and I am like so looking forward to it and so also I've just been seeing that like pre-existing hairs that I already had pre-tea have been getting like darker and more wiry and like thicker which has been kind of funny like watching those hairs transform really suddenly because I just like noticed it one day it wasn't something I was like keeping track of. As for my skin I have definitely been seeing that I have a lot more spots going on so I've got especially more on my shoulders this shoulder in particular for some reason has way more spots than the other one and there were like a good few days there where it was getting really uncomfortable because they were like getting kind of inflamed and angry and more were coming up and stuff they seem to have settled down now for a minute but I had a lot of pimple action going on and I'm getting it also like on my chest a lot like my collarbones um, my back my temples my chin <laughs> Uh, also like my neck, I've noticed that I'm getting like a bunch of really little ones that are just on my neck all the time and they're not like that noticeable, I kind of just see them when I'm doing my makeup. I just have spots constantly um, and it still like isn't too bad. I mean it's not fun but it's still, it's annoying but it's like tolerable at this point but I'm not looking forward to that potentially getting worse but we'll just see how all of that goes it sucks but it's it's just part of the whole the whole experience really I feel like there was something else I was gonna say oh yeah I had this like this one spot that came up under my eye it was like right here and you can still kind of see like where it was but it was like really big and it was like right under my eye and it was really painful because you know how your skin like under your eyes is like sort of more thin than other parts of your body so it was like really painful and uncomfortable for a few days so I'm really glad that that has pissed off. I think that's all that I have to say about skin, just that I'm getting a lot more spots than I had before. Next I'm going to talk about migraines. So last time I said that I hadn't had any migraines at all since starting tea and unfortunately I got one a few days ago. I think it was a couple days ago that I got a migraine and I think it was mainly because of stress and also my cycle. Those two things combined are just like lethal for migraines honestly. But it was interesting because like I feel like the lead up to it was a lot longer than usual like when I'm starting to get a migraine I usually get some kind of warning sign and for me it's often that I'll get this feeling in my head and it feels like brain freeze like you know how after you eat something really cold usually too fast and you get like that weird headache. I get that but like all day and then the next day I get like the really bad like splitting migraine headache and you know everything else that comes with it but I was getting that brain freeze feeling for like three or four days in a row which isn't what usually happens so I kind of like thought maybe I, I wasn't getting a migraine and thinking about it now that doesn't make much sense I was like well I haven't got a migraine yet I seem to just be having like the sort of pre headache so maybe I'm not actually getting a migraine I maybe I'm just gonna have the pre warning signs and that's it which like doesn't really make sense it's also like it wasn't super consistent it would like the brain freeze feeling would come and go so I'd think oh it's gone away now so maybe I'm fine but no no I was not so part of that is on me because I didn't take my pain meds when I should have which would be when I'm getting the brain freeze feelings so yeah, but having said that, it wasn't the worst migraine, it was like pretty tame compared to a lot of other ones I've had and it was pretty short, so that's that's it. I've had one migraine, really 
Really sucks that I broke my streak there, but we will see. We'll see how it goes for the rest of the time that I'm on tea. Hopefully it's just that they're at least less frequent and shorter. That would be cool. <laughs> but I'll keep you updated on that. So as for hunger, um, I don't think I've noticed any changes with my hunger. I'm still like really hangry in the mornings. Of course that's like normal to an extent because everyone's pretty hungry in the morning I think. But it definitely, I'm still more hungry these mornings compared to when I was pretty tea so make of that what you will <laughs> now for sleep so I am still sleeping very deeply which is good but I am starting to find that it's getting harder to get to sleep again so I think the insomnia is coming back which sucks it's usually like if I know I'm doing something the next day and I get like that anticipation anxiety and I can't sleep because I know I'm doing stuff the next day it's like really weird yeah that's generally the thing that is triggering it. I'm having trouble getting to sleep but then once I am asleep I sleep really deeply and I stay asleep so that's still pretty good compared to before. I've also noticed that like ever since I started sleeping really deeply I have not been remembering my dreams as much. Has anyone else who has started tea noticed this because I feel like I'm the only one that's talking about it. I like haven't heard anyone else talk about this before. Pre-tea I would have so many vivid dreams every night and I'd remember all of them and that was really consistent for me. And now like, I know that I definitely still dream quite a lot, but I don't remember any of it when I wake up. Like I have such a hard time with dream recall now. And it's like the weirdest thing. I'm just like not used to it. It's really, it's really weird. <laughs> and this is like not something that I was expecting going on tea. So yeah, that's kind of a weird thing. Okay, so on to the next thing now, I'm done with sleep. Um, The next thing is freckles. So last time, I did an update, I was saying how I got more freckles since I started tea and it was on my hands and I don't think that I have been noticing any more freckles. I'll show you and you can decide for yourself if I do it like that. There we go. Yeah, I really don't think I'm seeing any more freckles, so I don't know, that, that's that. I am i don't feel like good or bad about that, pretty neutral. I still need to ask about the freckles though to my doctor, but I haven't had an appointment with her yet, so I'll let you know what she says potentially if anything interesting comes with that conversation what else um my energy levels and like my motivation is still really good that's still like up there i think now i've gotten used to having those higher energy levels and stuff so it doesn't like stick out to me as much as it did before but yeah it's definitely still there i'm definitely like doing a lot better in that regard which is good and hopefully like that stays consistent because it's really nice. I should have mentioned though in the first part of this video rather than at the end that I'm still on the one pump a day with a half dose. I still think I'm pretty comfortable on the one pump so we'll see how that goes. I mean I'm sure it will change in the future because generally I think you do need to like change up your dosage sometimes as time goes on. I could be wrong but I've, I've noticed that sometimes for people that they need to, so that might happen, but yeah, for now I am happy with the pace that everything is going at, and uh, yeah, I'm just still really happy to be on tea, it's really great. Yeah, but that is everything that I have to tell you about my two months on tea, so thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you next time.